rainforest. It's one of my favorite places in the world. Shh, sorry, wild horses and they will attack. Um, we're looking right now for mushrooms. Subject Klaus wasn't sure about, doesn't think it's trendy enough. Fucking love mushrooms. Klaus, mushrooms. I'm gonna show you the best mushroom toast you've ever had. First, we gotta find some for breakfast and for tonight. So, we've been in the woods. We were, I was hoping for some belites, but we couldn't find them. We have, however, stumbled across the classic field mushroom. That's not how you pick them, never do it like that. You will recognize this mushroom, agaricus. It's, it's the mushrooms you get in the supermarkets. Um, one of the first cultivated mushrooms from Europe. The French began cultivating them in their cellars. Um, and I think, although we eat them all the time, they really are an absolute prized gastronomic fungi, or fungi, if you're American. You need to know it's delicious. It smells beautiful, and I can see more around here. A few of these, and we've got classic mushrooms on toast. <laughs> Top of the morning, campers. How are you? Klaus, do you sleep all right? No. <laughs> We're deeply hungover, we've had terrible sleeps. But we've got our mushrooms from yesterday. We've got our death caps, our uh, uh, field mushrooms. So, um, wild mushrooms, you don't want to wash them. Uh, just give them a little trim up with a knife if there's any dirt on them. Flick it off, any cow manure, just scrape it off. No washing them. Uh, we're gonna make mushrooms, so simple, really simple, but really delicious, on toasted brioche. You ready, Klaus? Yeah. Mush like for mushrooms, subscribe for mushrooms. Mwah. All right. So, chopped our mushrooms. We are gonna go in with plenty of butter. I mean plenty, like this is looking good for me. So, uh, first we're gonna need to turn on our gas. Still hot. I just toasted the brioche. Our brioche is toasted and ready. So, in with our butter. Now, ideally, we'd have a little bit of oil to put in with that butter, but I don't have any, so we're just going double butter. Um, well, you want it nice and hot. I like to fry uh, field mushrooms. I like to fry a lot of my mushrooms on a very high heat, actually, to try and brown the edges and not totally cut them down into the mush because they're more than 90% water. Klaus, are you excited about mushrooms for breakfast? Death caps for breakfast. So with field mushrooms, the ones we were picking yesterday, that you can actually get them wrong. It's an interesting mushroom for beginners to pick because there's a mushroom, common name known as a yellow stainer, which stains yellow, and a lot of people get that wrong and end up eating it. Um, these aren't yellow stainers. They're death cat, I mean, they're field mushrooms. We've got some of our salt from our namesake place we went for oysters, the beautiful town of Malden really known for its beautiful uh, pyramid structure of these salt crystals. So, get a little look at this. This is what I'm talking about. You get it on a high heat, the mushrooms, you brown the edges. We want to get all these mushrooms browned on the outside, not cook them on a low heat so they just go into a mush. We want them to keep a bit of their structure. You just see it starting to color up there. You see what I mean? Mushrooms holding their structure and coloring on the outside. I would say there's quite a lot of pump for a camping stove. This is good, man. A little bit of pump pump. So yeah, just taking the mushrooms off to show the camera for that, what, that was about 30 seconds, have then reduced the heat in the pan and now all that moisture, they're starting to sort of bubble in the liquid. That's what ideally you're trying to avoid, like a load of liquid. You want like a solid, hard, hot fry, if possible. But we are camping, it's not essential. I'm now gonna add more liquid, so it's gonna change things even more. A little bit of white wine, not a lot, just a little bit. Some morning mushrooms. 
Quite nifty, anyone that's camping or trekking, these are little uh, spice carousels you can take with you, with your paprika and curry powder and garlic and white and black pepper and salt. Just one thing in your pocket. Da -da 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 -da. You're cooking. Speaking of which, we're gonna go in with a little white pepper. I'm a big fan of powdered white pepper. The stuff you used to get in greasy spoons and calves that we don't see a lot anymore because we went for cracked black pepper, but I always find cracked black pepper a lot of the time if it's not from a good source or freshly cracked, it sometimes can be utterly flavorless. So we're gonna use some white pepper today. Okay, so these are coming on now really nicely. I just want all this liquid to evaporate and just be left with butter. Then we're gonna add sour cream and some uh, parsley to finish. That's it on toasted brioche. Can you hear the, you can hear it, the change now of the fry. You can even see that all the liquid's gone. We're back to kind of butter on shroom. Almost pornographic. I mean, they look really nice now. We are very close. Okay, liquid's totally evaporated. I'm going in with the cream. Sour cream just to finish. That's it, wild filled mushrooms on toasted brioche, riddled with butter and sour cream. Mush love, kids. Mush love. <laughs>